welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 fake songs from movies. What if a garbage man was actually smart? A common misconception that we're tearing apart. For this list, we're looking at the very best movie made songs, all of which would have been surefire hits in the real world. Did we miss any of your favorite original movie songs? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Scotty Doesn't Know, Eurotrip. This vulgar hit from Eurotrip has the distinction of being one of the few fictional songs to have surpassed the popularity of its source. Scotty doesn't know that Fiona and me do it in my van every Sunday. While the 2004 comedy struggled to match its budget at the box office, Scotty Doesn't Know earned its band Lustra a spot on the Billboard Hot 100. Eurotrip seemed to predict the song's mass appeal IRL as it's shown to be popular in the world of the film as well. In it, the song becomes a global sensation, even being remixed and sold as a ringtone. Naturally, there's one person who doesn't appreciate the tune's popularity, and that's Scotty. Number 9. Stand Out, a Goofy Movie We can assume from his popularity that Powerline has many hit songs in the world of a Goofy Movie. But this is the one that Max, Goofy's son, chooses to perform for his school, and we think he picked right. Some people settle for the typical thing, living all their lives waiting in the wings. Stand Out, as its name implies, is about standing out from the crowd and making a name for yourself. Max definitely does just that when he and his friend PJ hijack their school's assembly for an impromptu performance. If I can make you stop and take a look at me instead of just walking by. He even catches the eye of his crush Roxanne. At the end of the movie, Max and Goofy get to jam out to eye to eye on stage with Powerline himself. But we'll always have a soft spot for this energizing anthem about making it big. Number 8. Drive It Like You Stole It, Sing Street Anyone who's ever been in a band will tell you how difficult it is to make a name for yourself, especially in high school. In that respect, the teens in Sing Street are living the dream. In this 80s set film, the titular band writes and performs a number of catchy tunes inspired by the music of the era, slowly rising in popularity. Our favorite of these songs is Drive It Like You Stole It, an empowering rock pop number the boys sing at their school's senior prom. This is your life, you can't go anywhere. You gotta grab the wheel and own it. Drive it like you stole it. The song's lyrics perfectly encapsulate the protagonist's character arc, while the performance allows him and his bandmates to show off their renewed self confidence in front of their peers. It's truly a joy to watch. Number 7. Fever Dog, Almost Famous We're here because of the music. We are Band-Aids. At the end of the day, Almost Famous is more about William Miller and the colorful array of groupies he meets than it is about a band. Nonetheless, the band at the center of it all is an undeniably important aspect of the film, and it's equally important that their songs are good enough to warrant their dedicated fan base. Dog proves that they have what it takes to go toe to toe with other 70s rock musicians. The song takes inspiration from the real rock bands featured alongside it on the film's Grammy Award winning soundtrack and boasts some shockingly impressive vocals from actor Jason Lee. Number 6. Take Me Away, Freaky Friday. In the 2000s, Lindsay Lohan was kind of a big deal. When Freaky Friday came out in 2003, she had already wowed audiences in The Parent Trap and had just begun work on her burgeoning music career. It's no surprise that the filmmakers behind Freaky Friday decided to make her character Anna a rock star. Anna's band becomes a point of contention between her and her mother Tess. It's about the audition! You're ruining my life! Oh, honey, 
Enough with the drama. It all comes to a head when Tess, now in Anna's body after the old switcheroo, is forced to take her daughter's place on stage. Don't wanna grow up, I wanna get out. Hey, me away. With some help from Anna backstage, Tess eventually leans into the performance, airplaying Take Me Away alongside her daughter's bandmates. The scene brilliantly showcases the pair's strengthened bond. And that solo man? Chills. <laughs> Number 5. We Are Sex Bomb, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. We know what you're thinking, and we agree. Black Sheep is great. Hello again, friend of a friend. I knew you were. Unfortunately, that show stopping The Clash at Demon Head performance is technically a cover. And honestly, it's about time Sex Bobomb got some appreciation too. Although its members fear their music sucks, their introductory song We Are Sex Bobomb proves the opposite. Yeah, yeah. Let me make the mama, mama, it's just the right energy to introduce the film's insane ensemble cast. They follow it up with a performance of Garbage Truck in the first round of Battle of the Bands, which is lyrically abrasive but a ton of fun. Both songs strike the perfect balance between good and garage band. It's just a shame that Garbage Truck has to be interrupted by Ramona's first evil ex. Number 4. Equal Rights, Not Gay Pop Star, Never Stop, Never Stopping When Macklemore and Ryan Lewis released Same Love, it was met with a mixed response. While many applauded the song for its message, some poked fun at its cornier lyrics. When I was in the third grade, I thought that I was gay, cause I could draw, my uncle was, and I kept my room straight. The Lonely Island's mockumentary film, Pop Star, Never Stop, Never Stopping, takes this a step further. In it, Connor For Real sings a song entitled Equal Rights, in which he advocates for gay rights while continuously insisting that he is straight. We need equality and for all to see that this is the new way not to gay. It just seems not gay, wrong, not gay, that no one seems to care sports. He even randomly shouts out stereotypical straight male interests like sports, four-wheel drive, and golf clubs to hammer home the point. It's a hilarious play on the overzealous straight savior type that has emerged in modern pop culture. And with a chorus sung by Pink, it's an unironic jam. I was born this way. Straight. You were born your way. Gay. Gay is straight, straight or gay is okay. Sure. Number 3. What Dreams Are Made Of, The Lizzie McGuire Movie When Lizzie graduated from junior high, she never expected to have a run-in with a pop star whose former partner looked exactly like her. And yet that's exactly what happened. Throughout her school-sponsored trip to Rome, Lizzie secretly meets with Paolo, who teaches her how to be a star. He turns out to be a lip-syncing liar, but his former partner Isabella arrives at just the right time to save the day. She and Lizzie sing what dreams are made of on an international stage, impressing Lizzie's parents and classmates, and absolutely blowing our eight-year-old selves' minds. Ironically, as Isabella, Hilary Duff is actually lip-syncing the voice of her sister Haley. The different voice gives credence to the idea that these are two separate people, not just a brunette Lizzie. Hey Number 2. Pretend to be nice, Josie and the Pussycats Josie and the Pussycats is the best fake band ever, and we promise we weren't brainwashed into saying that. This is the best CD ever! Yeah. That was Gatorade. While their meteoric rise to fame could be attributed to their shady record label, we'd like to think that Pretend to be Nice would have risen through the pop charts regardless of any outside intervention. The tune is super fun and a total earworm, with lyrics relatable to anyone who's ever had a careless, inattentive partner. In addition to this chart topper, Josie and the Pussycats also perform the equally enjoyable spin around at a global concert that acts as the film's finale. 
but not before getting some much-needed assistance from their predecessor du jour, whose song Backdoor Lover was all the rage before their mysterious plane crash. Lying on your bed staring up at the moon You got me crazy, gotta love you soon I'm your before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Breathe, her smell. After five months of guitar lessons, Moss made the transition from handmaid to rock star. Pop goes my heart, music and lyrics. Whose heart wouldn't pop for this delightfully 80s Hugh Grant? I said I wasn't gonna lose my head. Mad About Me, Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope. Forget Boba Fett and the Mandalorian. We want to see more of Tatooine's hottest band. <laughs> that thing you do, that thing you do. This one hit wonder was definitely a hit with us. Pusevik, My Hometown, Eurovision Song Contest, The Story of Fire Saga. It's hard to believe that such a moving ballad is from a comedy. Where the mountains sing through the screams of seagulls, where the whales can't live, cause the gentle people in my hometown, my hometown. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Shallow, A Star Is Born Shallow may be a fake song, but there's no denying Lady Gaga's very real talent. A Star Is Born is the third remake of a 1937 film of the same name, but more than sets itself apart with its moving performances and modern take on the music industry. On an in-world episode of Saturday Night Live, Gaga's character Allie performs the catchy Why Did You Do That? It's not bad, but it's a far cry from Allie's authentic self, which is best showcased in her performance of Shallow with Jack. The song is a powerful reflection on the dangers of stardom, just as relevant to our real world as it is the fictional world of Allie and Jack. Agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.